It seems obvious that the Mormon Church is embarrassed today about their polygamous past, and they try to minimize all mention of it. It's sad to see them, the, the mainstream Mormon Church, try and rewrite their history. If you look at, at leading men from different factions of Mormonism today, uh, Gordon Hinckley in the LDS Church uh, in Salt Lake City, uh, Steve Veazey uh, in the reorganized Latter-day Saint Community of Christ Church here in Independence, or someone like a Warren Jeffs who is a leader in a uh, fundamentalist LDS group uh, in, in the Western United States, which one of these would more clearly reflect uh, who Joseph Smith was at the end of his life? I think the answer is very clearly uh, Warren Jeffs. Um, he's polygamous, he's being faithful to the original revelations. So what, when you say that polygamy is not a part of Mormonism, just the weight of evidence is overwhelmingly against you. They want everyone to think that the little time they practiced it, it was just some sort of social practice that didn't directly involve uh, official doctrine. But in fact, it was, and it was taught as doctrine. Their, their uh, doctrine or their theology requires that they live polygamy as gods. The Mormon doctrine is that even today, that you cannot become a god without being a polygamist. You have to have more than one wife to become a god. People went into polygamy because they felt it was essential to their salvation. It wasn't just a social custom. Yeah, John Taylor made a statement that uh, if the church were to abandon polygamy, then the priesthood would be taken from the church. I think that the changes in the Mormon church are changes that have had to be made because of those past statements uh, are embarrassing. The mainline Mormon church would not accept Joseph Smith and Brigham Young into their church because uh, they love polygamy. There's a change in emphasis, but the doctrine has never changed. But the doctrine is still the same. The Jesus of Joseph Smith and of Mormonism is a Jesus who will help you out after you've done all that you can do to help yourself. Everything was just uh, good works oriented, do what we tell you to do and you'll get to heaven. That was gospel. Their Jesus is not the Jesus of the Bible. Their Jesus is somebody that they can become equal to and how can you worship a God if you can be as equal? The Jesus that I had believed in before was one that I could become like on my own the Jesus I came to know is so much greater than I could ever even think of being. He's perfect. He's all-powerful. And he didn't start off as somebody like me and became that. When I became a Christian, and I, were, I realized the gospel means good news. And I look back at what I grew up, that wasn't good news at all. I hadn't learned any good news when I was growing up. Everything that I learned as a gospel as a child was bad news. That's why I ran away from it, because it was such bad news. Well, the good news is, fo is focused on a person. The gospel is a person. Salvation is a person. There's only one way you genuinely become Christian, and it's through a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And when I realized the simplicity of that, the beauty of that, first time I went to church after I was saved, they were singing songs to Jesus. And I just stood there and bawled. I just cried and cried the whole service. I just, all I did was cry. I thought, everybody thought I was really weird because that's all I did was cry because everything was Jesus centered. I died to my old life and I was born into a new life in Christ. And it's just, it's been an awesome, awesome experience. It just, it's just so awesome. It's hard to really explain, but it's a beauty that it permeates your soul and it changes your life. It's awesome. My youngest child overheard us talking about Joseph Smith. And he said, after they left, Mom, who is this Joseph Smith? And before I could say anything, he says, I know about Joseph with the coat of many colors. But who is Joseph Smith? And I picked him up and whirled him around the room and kissed him on the cheek and said, Hallelujah. I have a child who doesn't know who Joseph Smith is.